www.jbeans.net. Curaçao is a small island located in the southern Caribbean Sea, north of Venezuela, that is part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Together, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao are known as the ABC Islands. In this video, we'll provide an overview of our December 2023 visit to Curaçao, when our ship, the Hall of America New Staten Dam, docked for a short day in the capital city of Willemstad, and we enjoyed a few local snacks. Just a quick note that if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps our channel. And consider subscribing so you get alerted when we add new videos. Our first destination in Curacao was the Zaven Artisan Bakery and Convenience Store, located in Willemstad's Punda District. The Punda District is a vibrant area known for its Dutch colonial architecture and colorful buildings. The district's lively streets are full of many shops and restaurants that reflect the island's cultural and commercial heritage. The walk to the Punta district and the bakery and convenience store was relatively straightforward. After disembarking our ship, we headed right and walked along the waterfront to exit the port area. We then continued walking along the waterfront toward the Renaissance Mall and Rift Fort and continued through the Rift Fort area to the Queen Emma Floating Bridge. After crossing the Floating Bridge, which our jelly bean always enjoys, we made a quick stop at the Lovelock Heart Sculpture. Unveiled in 2017, the sculpture was designed for visitors to attach a lock to lock in their love. We attached locks during our previous two visits and added a third during our most recent visit. After locking in our love, we continued walking along the main street until we came to a small shaded square, which was home to the Zaven Bakery and Convenience Store. Since we arrived around 10.30 in the morning, the store selection of baked goods was somewhat limited. However, they still had a good number of breads and pastries to choose from. They also had a large selection of cold drinks and snacks such as chocolate, stroop waffles, and more. For our late breakfast, we purchased a ham and cheese croissant, a cinnamon roll, and a Pepsi. The total cost for our treats was $7 US. And since we visited on Christmas Eve, the bakery gave each of us a complimentary chocolate to enjoy. We found a nice shaded spot in the square to enjoy our tasty breakfast. Then we walked around and explored the Punda district a bit. As we started heading back towards our ship, we walked back across the Queen Emma floating bridge and spotted Delhi Shakes, a nearby food trailer that seemed to be very popular with the locals. After taking a look at their menu, we ordered a small mango shake for $4 US. The shake was delicious, and the cool treat ended up being the perfect way to wrap up our warm sunny day in Curacao. <music> 